What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off from last time, we are going to assault the capital of Berlin and hopefully uh, this assault goes better than the last quick assault I've done. Although, uh, a lot of reinforcements coming in, it's probably not going to be a problem because we've got a couple of pretty good forces here and I might actually switch them up so that the last thing to come in is the artillery because that's the very last thing I need when it comes to uh, a reinforcing army taking a fort. So, without further ado, let us take this city. And this will be an hour special, even though um, I had a somewhat impromptu hour special in the last episode. Um, but it doesn't matter, it's a lot more content. We can get more stuff done. Sometimes you just got to go with the throw. Go with the, go with the throw. Go with the flow. And... Uh, recording schedule be damned just because then I was thinking okay I can, it's an hour I can get two episodes recorded in that time roughly uh, then I go and fight that siege it takes up nearly my whole hour uh, well, well I had fun let's come on let's get cracking let's go knock out these Swedish devils because we need to knock out the Swedes and push my army's eastward to ready up alongside the, the Russian border. So let's dump my guns in like so. Good. Then let's take two cavalry and three infantry are going to cover the breach. All these guys are going to storm around the rear. Actually, get them all into this. Could none of you count as hidden? What if I strand you specifically between these two trees? Ooh, if I put them all here, potentially. I mean, this is very catastrophic from a if they mortar the bejesus out of a standpoint, because that's a lot of men. But what's life without a bit of risk? I suppose if I send them off one after another, rather than all at once, it won't be quite as dangerous. Now these ones don't want to hide. There we go. And you... And you. No one will ever see all these fellas. They're far too cunningly disguised in their red jackets. My general can sit back here. Actually, let's put my cavalry a bit further out, because usually the artillery likes to shoot at them. You guys are going to fire quick climb. Cool. Damn, one of you start dropping quick climb in the centre on all that cavalry. This should be pretty epic. Here they come. That's a... We came here to... Oh god, no! Quick climb, focus fire on the mortars. Actually, who are they shooting at? Now they are shooting at my howitzers, I see. Let's quick climb the bejesus out of their mortars, or at least hope to. Trouble is, they will be firing faster than us. Maybe if I drop a cavalry unit just a bit closer, that might be enough to distract them. See how effective a volley of quick climb actually is against. Let's against. I doubt we will be able to trick them. Ah. But at the very least, we can. Oh, we knocked a lot of their crewmen out. That's reduced the number of guns they can bring to bear against us. Let's target the mortars 
how it is a bit to one side. Let's see who they shoot at. Oh, there you go. They've started to shoot our regiment of horse. Which we don't want them to do in perpetuity. So let's let my howitzers fire off. There you go. They fired some more shots. I'm fairly sure now they've got three crewmen left. There we go. They are not going to man the guns. In which case, let's get my quick line working. One unit working on the breach, or one unit working on the units on the walls, one unit working on these cavalrymen, so they don't interfere with our super sneaky assault around the rear. I want to see this quick line fire come in and hit the centre. No, I re I targeted you. I retargeted you. Damn, come on. Okay, let's reload. The wall isn't breached yet, so there's not a lot else to do. Come on. Keep an eye on There we go. How it's fired. Not as many, but I'll take it. Okay, so if we're going to be doing that, then I probably want one of my... Actually, I don't need any units to specifically focus on this section here. Keep my artillery focusing on the breach. Get these guys to run up. Get my regiment of horse to cover the flank. Now, Maitland, now's your time. So my first unit, take up positions. There, you climb the wall there. You climb the wall here. Let's allow those men to proceed. These men go round the flank. These men climb the wall on the far side. You men climb the wall here. And these three remaining units can hunker down ahead of the wall. One of these units focus on attacking the enemy, although to be honest, their, car their garrison is now pretty knackered. Fusiliers are going to deploy stakes, but that's not a problem. I am not looking to advance in with my cavalry. Yeah, these men, your job is to form square to prevent the cavalry from, the cavalry from breaking out. I might actually send two of these units. Actually, no, I've got a lot of guys going over here. Let's just get one more. You scale the wall by the gates. Let's get one unit to keep knocking off the units on the walls. Let's get you guys to hit the fusiliers. I'm a bit too late because they've already fired. Oh, damn! Beautiful. Oh, the, mar the militia are charging. So my artillery could just focus on dropping shots. I mean, they definitely don't want to. But just lob shells over my infantry into the breach. Ooh. Shells are away. Some good hits. Missiles form square. These grenadiers push up. Ready to form square. Yep, here come the hussars. Here come the militia. Oh, 
Come on, you guys, engage those militia, they're right there. Quick climbs coming in. God, the Hussars, they've already routed. There's another unit of light cavalry sharpshooters coming in. These men run up to secure to secure the gatehouse. As funky as that's going to be, it's going to cause some of these men to just run straight in. Yeah, those guys continue to climb up the walls. Grenadiers stay in square. Get one unit to the command HQ, get a unit of marines in to cover one flank. Let's halt fire with my howitzers. Let's get my infantry in to start attacking the men near the breach. These guys switch to round shot and begin attacking in the centre. Stuff. A lot of my men are almost at the walls. These marines very nicely have decided to uh, hunker down, hunker down, and all try and scramble up one rope. Okay, you guys charge in. Regiment of Horse can also get in, as can this unit, which gets game over here and then come in. One cavalry routed from over here. These grenadiers actually attack the heavy cavalry. Then they can soon charge in. Actually, no, don't go in that building. Stay there. You will get shot in the back a bit from this unit of garrison guards. But there aren't many of them, and we have also begun engaging the enemy. Run all this infantry down. Cavalry back here is finally broken. Should it stop my heart from firing at all? Actually, no, it's not. Keep quick climbing the garrison guards on the wall. As you know, don't attack the fusiliers. We have enemy reinforcements over the hill. trying to charge me, but I just want to get inside. So let's run some of these men to actually take position. These men are wavering for some reason. Oh, okay, it was the... the uh, Garrison guards don't like them. Okay, so some of my men, so these guys, this line of infantry unit, just form square if you're going to be charged by the cavalry. I want you guys to continue to push around and secure gatehouse. You guys attack this unit of hussars. Those men move in and secure the line infantry. You guys just run over there and take the wall. Actually, these guys take position here. 
You guys get out of square and just run in. These men are now entirely on the wall, so they can run in and secure secure that gatehouse. You men can knock out. Actually, you men just get onto the central square. Let's get this ticking. This line infantry unit and this line infantry unit can take position to fire on people that try and enter the breach. These marines, can you guys get over here. These marines, you guys go into that building I suppose. Okay, let's put you on these walls, if you are capable of firing. So there are their cavalry's gone all funky. So desperately, well, they desperately want to get inside. So let's drop a unit of guards here, ready to form square and hold them up. I don't want this line infantry to attack them, but it looks like they are destined to. I want you guys, I want you men up on the wall as well. Not bothered about these garrison guards. Just hold them off. See that these men are determined to climb down to fight them. Which is a waste of time. And we actually end up losing. Losing this gate. Because these men are determined. Determined to uh, lose it. But there we go. We've won the battle. The reinforcements coming in. They have not done what the Württemberg forces were able to do. And we have knocked them out. There we go, 6,000 men. Which means this army, plus both these reinforcing armies, or the, well, the two of the reinforcing armies, have been significantly damaged. Let's repair all our buildings. Replenish our men. Let's knock down the University of Magdeburg. We have many men nearby try and assassinate that general. No, he was seen. Will he evade a second assassin? We got him. Good. So that means that Sweden, apart from Gdansk, is uh, able to repel us. At some point you need to flank around and hit Prussia. And, we're, and Bavaria, but Bavaria is going to be a big... is going to be a slog of a fight. Let's check out our research. We've still got Magdeburg, so we're going to destroy that. We're still expanding our forces. See, because they're all deployed near the port, but they're not. They haven't left Cagliari undefended. They have a lot of men, so it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a defensive battle, really. We're going to deploy our troops, and then we're going to fight whoever they send to come and kill us. That's likely to be the outcome. Let's fix this happiness building. Paris is, does not like us too much. So let's pick up some just actually dragoons would probably be a good idea. I don't think we can send any of our other forces to... Oh, we can. I mean, yeah, you can auto-resolve that force because it's almost completely destroyed. 
Well, okay, don't kill it then. You guys can come after him instead. So you desperately need field artillery. You don't need... You need field artillery and cavalry. That's what you need. So let's get some heavy cavalry from Prague. Backed up by a QRC unit. Actually, let's get... Get some light cavalry. Let's get some regiment of horse. Because we do need to be ready for the inevitable war against the Russian Empire. I might even send you chaps to scout Crimea. They have a fleet. They have an army. And they have reinforcements. So these men are going to stay here. You chaps here are going to get some cavalry. You might get some hussars instead. One, two, three, four. Three units of infantry. Actually, let's get two sharpshooters and a unit of line. So at some point, oh, I've got this force here at Greece, which is just kind of a, a holding pat in a holding pattern. Everything else is secured. How's Berlin's infrastructure? Pretty good. You're replenishing. Everyone's replenishing, really. Ah, you need to go fight Galar Crook to the north with the, the lifeguard contingent up here in Denmark. That's a very sneaky manoeuvre. But yes, we're going to push with all strength towards Gdansk. We do have a lot of Swedish naval ships loitering around, but I do very much think our strategy is going to be around ignoring them and invading Sicily. So because they have so few men, even experiment with some shrapnel shots. So they have a lot of lifeguards, but elite infantry itself will not save them. Because they do not will be able to overlap and envelop them and our infantry is of sufficient quality that the ones that get damaged first will be able to stay in the battle crucially field artillery shrapnel shot hit the 13th horse guards actually you go after so let's watch shrapnel shot come in Shrapnel shot is like canister shot, but medium range. It's damn good. That's a regiment of horse, which my horse, which my heavy cavalry will love to enjoy. The main thing to remember with canister shot is that it is good, but as the shell flies in, it bursts. So I might even... If I speed up time, just to get the... Okay. Then slow-mo it. So they fire. They fire the gun. The balls fly through the air. Then they get to a certain point and then they burst. See, those ones have overshot. So it's not a guaranteed hit. But this, the ball booming, you need to be very careful that, say if I advance my men up to here... If they fire low, they'll burst behind my men and shred them. Okay, these guards deploy square. My howitzers just pick on their lifeguards. Shrapnel shot does do a lot of damage. It does more damage than round shot. That's for Darren Shaw, but you need to be a lot more careful of it, like Canister Shot. Because my heavy cavalry are going to win against the Wimp Shot. Okay, slow mo, slow mo. Ah, oh, they've already burst. See, they're, over they're overshooting quite a lot.
the cavalry wants to charge in. My cavalry is waiting for them. To so the provincial cavalry, we've not lost a single heavy cavalryman. Because provincial cavalry is not very good. And my heavy cavalry is definitely going to push in and hit those dragoons. The generals decided to fall back. So my line will push. Whoa, catch shrapnel shots come in. It's almost eviscerated my own infantry. So now is an occasion that you may want to keep... Uh, See, they managed, to, they managed to do a lot of damage to their Dragoons without adversely hitting my Heavy Cavalry. But let's run my Pikeman in to give them support anyway. God, these Line Infantry Guards actually... Like they did shoot a bunch of my men in the back, so do not fire. My Marines are stretched out very thin. Why the objective is to push the right flank to help relieve the left. Switch my count, my artillery to round shot. Too late. I had a boom of a, a boom of a uh, shrapnel shot come in. Run my lifeguards up. It's a bit of a hedge. Let's push these Swiss guards around their flank. Actually, let's push my other line infantry guards around their flank. This foot guard unit, guard foot unit has fallen. Keep picking good artillery targets, which it looks like we have done in the main. Yeah, that foot guard unit routed. Two units engaging the 16th foot guards. These Swiss guards will be able to pour some good fire into their flanks. Charge these men to the Dragoons, because they've dismounted. Sixth regiment, sixth regiment of militia is going to be very upset. Yeah, there they go. The fire tears through their line. They fall. Oh, these men are be pouring devastated. Actually, why are they, most of them aren't even firing? See, those guys are. Oh, it's because they're firing into the... the 16th. Never mind, the 16th have routed. Run my cavalry back into the centre. Where's my... This cavalry on the move. Get my general on the move. Charge down those lifeguards. Switch to engulfing the general in all sorts of lovely artillery fire. Got a artillery team that's just going to get shot to pieces. Okay, my general staff getting involved as well. This cavalry might knock out the first, first foot guards. Recruited all that time ago. They've yet to be bloodied in battle. My cavalry says enough is enough. Well, my infantry, yeah. My army says enough is enough. my artillery to round shot, my howitzers to round shot, really kill some of my own Swiss guards. Howitzers hit the general, artillery hit the general. Let's 
That's one lifeguard unit destroyed. Ignore the militia. Go after the regiment of foot. I'm going to continue. For a minute there, I was thinking I might end it. Well, I wasn't thinking I might end it. I thought I might accidentally end it. Because we got a great opportunity to do a lot of damage to some pretty elite infantry. So let's put it on trip speed. There we go, they've been knocked out. Let's chase down another lifeguard unit. E-men chase down those infantrymen. Stop all the artillery from firing. They may as well go after that unit. Both of you guys go after the 63rd. Okay, looks like those men have retreated in a funny way, or my men are asking to, to chase after them in a funny direction. Watch this. Yeah, so it's like, where are they going? Somewhere directly into a load of... Uh, load of cavalry traps. So I don't want to do that. So the gut artillerymen are going to route successfully. But the rest of their force is destroyed. And these men are now made up of some line infantry and some militia, which we will dutifully dispatch. So these men can replenish and then probably march down to here. Don't worry about booting their men out of the... Don't worry about booting their men out of the ports because, uh, well, they can stay in there if it makes them feel happy. Okay, this priest. Let's get you to infiltrate in Moscow because I do not trust them. I do want to have some armies ready to land into the Baltic states. So these men are all plenishing. You, well, you had your artillery stolen, did you? Didn't you? So these men, those dragoons, these men can march around to, to the north of Prussia. Yeah, Ryland doesn't like it. I have to dispatch some men from the Netherlands to try and hold on to the territory. Ooh, that's a bad plan. Okay, they're going to be unhappy about that for a while. So let's get you back. You're waiting for the Prussians to make a move towards us, and then we can try and gun them down on a bridge of death. We're encircling Bavaria. Probably want to get my spies out of these renegade Poles. Not Poles, Swedes. Get them to take positions on the Russian front line. Let's check my other territories to make sure I've not got any unused rakes because the Russians are definitely positioning that's where you are building up we're building up troops in Christiana so London's got a rake we could use as well as a missionary which is probably where I'm going to send probably going to send them up to Norway to help try and convert the population a bit quicker okay Let's hit end turn. Sono in ah, uh, maintain siege. My incremental expansion in the Caribbean is it's useful, but right now we're shaping up for a major battle against the uh, the Russian Empire. All the Swedish men look like they're falling back to their, or they're going to fall back to their last city. Yeah, here come the Russians. So when I attack Russia, I am likely going to need to do it on multiple fronts. 
I'm going to need to put. I need to need to hit them on every front. Maybe even sending some men around to hit uh, Arkhangelsk up to the north. But we can catch the Russians while keeping the Ottomans pinned. Then we can swing south and attack the Ottoman Empire. Bavaria and Prussia may be they may be enemies that we end up uh, that we end up just bottling up until we're ready. Let's get you guys back to Corlin. It looks like they do not want to give up their freedoms. Iron Masters works. Okay, upgrade. Some good industry upgrades over here, actually. So you're growing. You likely want to lose a unit of howitzers, a unit of hussars. If you want to get two sharpshooters to get another unit of artillery, then you'll be ready. So Anchor is no longer becoming Catholic. Sweden, most of the Swedes have pulled back. You men refit in Sweden. Actually, let's punt that broken navy out of Lubeck. And just destroy it. See, we lost seven ships. Get them back into port. Ricardo Tozzi. His force has been severely damaged. So let's pick up some replacements. You are short a unit of light cavalry, perhaps? Bartolomeo Asimani, you are in good shape. So you guys are not going to be... Actually, we don't have a priest or anyone here converting the territory. The Netherlands can now be taxed. As can Courland. If we're going to keep garrisons there, they can help pay for it. Okay, let's pick up these ships. Recruit from Portsmouth and sail them over to... God, I don't even have a good amount of militia guarding back here. Guarding my ports. Norway's incrementally growing. This Mughal fleet can stay here if it makes them happy. Push these men down to Fort Corella. Let's get a trading port here. And let's probably recruit a militia unit to march forward and occupy the port. But soon we will have them have the have the Swedes penned in. So I need artillery. Any spare artillery. Well, you don't need a militia unit, so they can come up here and stand by. You need artillery, my friend. Get some 12 pounders. Garrison here at Dresden also needs 12 pounders. Oh no, they're already getting artillery. Good. Let's upgrade this to a church school. Upgrade you to a board. No, not a. No, 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 no. Keep the pleasure gardens. Keep the farm, knock down, coaching in. My spy, this chap, push on, infiltrate Vilnius. So we are building another force here in Madrid. To be honest, I may even recruit another one here at Tunis. It won't be a very good one. Let's get General's bodyguard. Two Crassier, Colonial Light. And let's pick up two Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Let's keep this navy growing. We need, well, we need quite a strong navy here so that when the when the uh, the Ottomans do declare war on us that we can dispatch 
ships to occupy and block all of their ports in order to prevent them from using their mass troops against us. Could probably do repairing these really as well. Moldavia is still being converted. These men are upgrading their forts. Breslau is a good one to hold. It's quite a strategic position. Crossing this river, there's only other two crossing points to the north. In fact, these men can replenish and take position on one of the bridges. You're in full strength, but you're probably going to... Actually, you push up to that bridge then. You stay where you are and replenish while we send this army, Bartolomeo Asamani, to go and hit Vigo Nikvist. Oh. That's quite a depleted army. Let's just do that. I don't mind fighting battles, but we've got plenty of big battles to actually fight. We don't have to worry about the little ones. You, you needed a light cavalry unit, didn't you? So let's get a unit of hussars to go join your forces with you. Good. These troops can combine. So this is very much a providing a backup force for Uberto Galvani in case the Prussians declare war on us. You men are actually going to... Oh, I can't, I can't build a fort here. Very well, then you will stay there. You will probably also need cavalry. So let's pick up the Lancer Guards, Crassiers, and a unit of Dragoons and sail to there. We'll march them up to join troops there, get you guys into the city. This guy was killing those mission those um religious scholars, but I'm not interested in them killing them anymore. Let's just keep keep my spy network pushing up and infiltrating the Russian front line. Because we're never really gonna stop them. All I can hope to do is just out Hey, did they sabotage my school? Workers on strike. Oh, they rioted in Venice. Right. Pick up a couple more. Yes, the troops. Letters of demands from Brandenburg, but now they've chilled out. Workers on strike in Brandenburg, not anymore. Trait gained. Confident Admiral and Bartolomeo Asimani. This chap who chased down the Swedes. Has done some good. You men are going to march up and occupy Rostock. Copenhagen is continuing to recruit reinforcements that will no doubt be needed. Norway, you pick up a Swiss Guard unit. Okay, sweet. Uh, Finland's Guard is also up. Okay, one more turn till we get rockets, and we're really starting to run out of tech that that we can research which is good because then we can any religious building any research building sorry we find we can just dismantle Ooh, that's not the engagement we were hoping for but the russia is there so let's see if russia joins them no they did not very well. Operation Ottoman Blockade is a go. Those devils. You can keep your priests running around once we destroy your town. Once we destroy your civilization, then you will be done for. Russia. I was surprised Russia didn't join them, but we are kind of... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, look at that. This is it now. The last great war of Europe. We've knocked out one of our great enemies. And now another has joined the fray with a significant amount of men at his disposal. So the fleets are landing. Oh, they're going, they're definitely going after Stockholm. They've ran past my troops. That's kind of lame. Sweden is now taking on an ancillary raiding role because they know that the end of their homeland is near. 
Uh, do you want to intercept? Oh, yes. Just destroy them. Ooh, we're being sallied in Cayenne. Let's do it. Let's mow down another load of helpless civilians. Because they cannot withstand our might. It's quite interesting, really, that we've now started to fight a, uh, a true last war. <laughs> the last war of Europe. I think. We've got men already close deployed near Cairo who are stranded on their borders. They can push there. Deploy my navy to occupy all their ports or to blockade them at the very least. And then we should be in a very good position to uh, well, choke off Ottoman support and force it to rely on having to march to the landward passages which it can't really get to us from. Or it might mean they will focus their efforts down near Cairo, because that will end up being our only front line. But this is going to be pretty... pretty cut and dry. There we go, okay. Let's do those defences. Shift this cavalry over a bit because I've dropped them a bit into a bit of a difficult spot. Deploy my cavalry on each flank just in case it will likely not be needed. Deploy my howitzers, chucking out explosive shells. There's certainly a case for um, howitzers to drop these defences because they can. I understand they can. They can still pivot. I understand it. But I'm not going to risk it. Priest, my general behind the lines. God, they're coming right for us. Artillery can drop. Canister shot. Caught one guy at the back. That quick line's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, let's get the quick climb to focus on the sturdier units in their army, which is that unit of garrison musketmen. Everyone else will fold, especially if they walk. Not a good decision. This field artillery can load canister shot very quickly. So let's aim at you. The mouse tribal auxiliary are being engaged. So let's see how this canister shot volley does. Aim at them. The idea is if aim at them, it looks like they're, they, are, they are uphill, so if we aim over them we should in theory. That's yeah, not bad. But now they're getting within canister shot range, and my understanding is if they're in canister shot range you may as well stick to canister shot, because it's a lot less... It's more predictable. Personally. Yeah, like I said, these guys aren't going to be forming a major part of the enemy's forces. You can try and aim at them. So let's see how the quick line, how the, how the uh, shrapnel shot does from this sort of position, because they do arc their shots. So they have successfully crossed over. They might actually do some... Well, they caught like a guy at the back. They haven't done... Didn't, it wasn't a great volley. Yeah. There's a lot of death here. Probably better off sticking these guys to back to canister shot. This artillery unit can shrapnel shot the... Because the, the radius, the range of shrapnel's not terrible. They can go after the general, actually. They might do some... Shrapnel's great at taking out elephants. It's got a wider, like, area of effect than round shot. Again, I'll slow-mo this when they fire. 
they're pivoting their position. So we've got two of them have gone re got ready. Kind of flew past the cannonball. No, they missed. They fired over. That one missed. There's one last shot coming in. There it is. Boom. Took out three elephants. Not bad. Hey, one of their units actually made it to our line. And they picked the right ones as well. It was the militia. Yeah, there's no point doing anything clever. It's just absolutely not needed. I might just speed up time, to be honest. You can cast shots doing some good work to the general. It looks like they're about to utterly pull back. Which is frustrating. The general's been killed. Fine. Get all my artillery working on a breach. In the event that we need to push forward, it looks like my artillery does not agree with this statement of a breach, because it looks like they are now back to attacking the troops, actually. If they are going to come back like that. There we go, but the speed up time. Chiefly because uh, there is no real need to do a lot of strategy in trying to annihilate these remaining men because they've yeah they've all broken there we go so the territory may have been uh, may have fallen to our troops maybe we lost 20 men in that engagement yeah bavaria is fortifying its western flank against prussia if prussia wants to fight the bavarians that's fine Explosive rockets researched. Well, they go on to top gallants, which isn't ideal, but there's literally nothing else for them to research. So Transylvania, they've built their artillery fort. The Russians are coming, confirmed. So, what strength is their navy in their dockyard? It is not at strength. This ship here is a brig, so I can handily bottle these guys up with a fourth rate at each dock. You guys are a bit stronger, for which I can use my, my current big navy that's free. My other ships bottle up their ports see that's great britain who we are not at war with Ernesto defendi embark your men and you sail with all purpose to join your embarked brothers and let's get this brig back to the port which we will upgrade So they have a lot of men. This is our only front line. So it might be worth upgrading. Let's repair this seminary. Okay, let's take... Uh, okay, let's take these chaps out. So we can build a proper army in Greece. It's Burjama's bodyguard. Two Sars. Got some howitzers. Probably want to get one more. Let's pinch one from here. Let's get some infantry, get some sharpshooters, get a unit of fusiliers. Good. Upgrade these ports because we're about to expand our. or well, attempt to expand our troop count significantly. That's a lot of militia and Cossacks, which is good to see. 
There's a lot of actual infantry, which isn't as good to see. So you are still replenishing. Actually, yeah, you are still replenishing. You are replenished. And you can get within range. Let's march you up towards West Prussia. Same with you. These men, well, it's buff. All oh, right, you might have to march southeast to intercept Eljet Pandevik. Will you men put West Prussia under siege? I can push these men up to here without triggering an interception because we are going to have to fight that. Got a Prussian a Russian army deployed to the north, which I can likely send you hit this chap and anni annihilate his men. Occupy the fort. The Russian navy is in strength here. Well, in strength of sorts. couple of good fleets but I would like to bolster their numbers which it looks like I am going to with both of them with fresh ships from Portsmouth I don't know if all of these can fit into Agostino Avogadro's force there. there you go then you can get into Lubeck Sail. That's quite a ragtag fleet. It's tempting to go up there and annihilate this one because it's a bit isolated and we can clean up a few bigger ships for our own purposes. Roman Lukov Lukovka. Okay, we're still beefing up our armies to land and hit Sardinia okay you guys want three more units of just regular line infantry good I think we're gonna have to keep feeding men in feed them in knock back what they've got probably have our army be destroyed feed another one in fight to the death feed another one in fight to the death and so on and so on and so on that's likely the ultimate outcome you probably need to go hit them to push them back through the gap because that's quite an exposed point for us now so this this army may end up marching south well let's see if we can actually leave some of our cities minus four not terrible Let's stay in there for one more turn. Can this force at Hanover leave? Minus one, they can. Okay, let's leave them untaxed for now. I'll come back, I'm sure, at some point. Push those men east. Rhineland can't leave. Those forces are still building. You're still pushing. Okay. Some in Spain, Saxony, Tunis. So we've lost trade with the Ottomans and with Russia. But we're still earning 129k a turn through trade with New Spain, Persia and Prussia. Don't want to move this army out of Finland, although I probably could. And then start to fill up Finland with another garrison while these men march north to try and intercept this small raiding army so you may know you're within range of St Petersburg but I don't want to fire them off just yet back here at Edinburgh get two howitzers two Aston might get 
third howitzer, plus some sharpshooters, that's five men. Space for two more, which is probably going to be a heavy cavalry, plus a lancer guard. Then this army is in is ready to rock and roll. I'll probably fire around to hit Archangels to the rear. Would like to fire you towards Crimea. You haven't actually got any visibility on what's going on in their northern ports. But the key thing is to try is to keep the Russian fleet bottled up, which we are doing with that force there. This fourth rate doesn't really have anything to do. Except sit in the port. Just really throttle their economy. But then in terms of fighting, the first battle that I need to make sure I do correctly is likely to be this one. Just fight them push them back but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching you guys hope you've enjoyed and i hope you're looking forward to this great war it's likely to be very very bloody so thanks for watching everyone hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time